I love you very much. Keep the faith. Russell Merzen retired from the Marine Corps in 2013 after 20 years and two back-to-back -back deployments to Iraq. He and his wife Erin had a newborn son. It should have been the happiest time of their lives. He was the best, most amazing father. You know, oh, sorry. But Russell was one of 27 young military veterans who died by suicide over an 18-month period in San Diego County. His story echoes many of the others. Russell struggled with post-traumatic stress disorder. Aaron thought he was getting the treatment he needed at the San Diego Veterans Affairs Hospital. Instead, he hopscotched between doctors and medications and finally dropped out of therapy. He would call me and tell me he's on his way. Um, or he'd tell me in the morning, I have therapy today. Um, I found out after he passed away, he only saw his psychiatrist three times, I think it was, and it, that was only to address medication. The majority of these San Diego veterans suffered from PTSD or depression after serving in a combat zone. Some family members say their loved ones were over-medicated, with suicide listed as a possible side effect on drug labels. Diana Cruz's son Mike served in Iraq with the Air Force before returning home with PTSD. The doctors and the nurses and the psychologists, they changed constantly. Every two weeks he had somebody different. So every time it was somebody new looking at his case. So of course I think they just doled out more medications every time and just kind of passed the buck on to the next person. Yes. Trouble adjusting to life outside of the uniform is something these vets also shared. It took Russell Merzen over a year to find a job. I know that that affected him. I know it was hard for him. I didn't know um, to the depth that it was affecting him, but I knew he felt less than. I knew he felt that 20 years of his life showed for nothing. Russell finally got part-time work on a Navy base. His family thought he liked his job, but Aaron later learned that wasn't the case. He loved the people he worked with and he loved the company. He hated going on base and being treated less than and being treated poorly by lower ranking sailors than he was as a Marine. Erin had no idea that her husband turned in a resignation letter in September 2014. Two days later, the 44-year-old used a gun that his wife knew nothing about to end his life. There were bottles of painkillers found next to him. Erin Merzen says she thinks healthcare privacy rules shut out family members to a dangerous degree. If I had known my husband was at risk for taking his life, or that we were, po my son and I were possibly in danger, um, I think that we had the right to know that. Like several others, Diana Cruz is left behind, wishing she had stepped in more to help her son navigate the VA system. I wish I would have definitely followed up more with uh, VA. Uh, I was there many times with him. I wish I would have been there every time, every visit, um, with every, uh, everybody he met. The VA is under pressure nationally to slow the number of suicides. A VA spokesman in San Diego called each of these deaths a tragedy. I don't think there's a magic bullet, but um, we have to keep trying to see you know, if we can, how we strengthen our systems to minimize and re reduce the number of suicides. What do you do when you see the American flag? You know. Heart. Your hand on your heart. These families are sharing their stories in the hope they will help others. I was that person who thought people who died by suicide were crazy and, and they ruined their families' lives. I have learned that's not the case. My husband wasn't crazy. Um, He was in pain that he couldn't, he didn't feel would ever stop. And this is how he, he made a decision in that moment that was a very bad one. Erin wants people to know that her husband was more than just the way he died. With photojournalist Hayne Palmer IV, I'm Jen Steele, reporting for the San Diego Union Tribune.